Make sure you wipe your feet before you come into my house, all right, mother here we go, let's watch 16 people complain about their chance to win $100,000. What's up guys, today we watched Dink Master and there is a lot of drama on the show. Way more than a reality competition program should be cool with. If you don't know, Ink Master is a show where a bunch of tattoo artists get together and compete in different challenges, ultimately being judged by other tattoo artists that have earned enough clout and for some reason Dave Grohl. Editors sometimes keep the toxicity to a minimum in shows like these, but that's boring and I wouldn't be able to complain about it. Wait, hang on. What a dumb name. If I'm gonna tattoo you, then you're gonna have to listen to me as well. I'm not an easy guy to back down, I just don't. I'm not a bitch. So nobody named Kyle is ever a bitch until they are. I've been to jail before. It's a bad place, it's not fun. I'm not happy. God, oh my god. The every Kyle ever checklist is filling up faster than I thought. Somebody needs to get me a monster. I'm gonna put a badass piece on you, Zell. Cool, I don't wanna rearrange nobody's face. This was a great idea. Our boy Kyle here tattoos a knife on this dude that he doesn't like and ends up getting a real knife jammed into his stomach. Well, hopefully he wins that prize money so he can pay his hospital bills. You know, I couldn't imagine being a tattoo artist. Like, I got anxiety, dude, which makes it hard for me to commit to drawing on a piece of paper, let alone someone else's body. I'd get one line drawn on this dude's arm and start looking for the eraser. Yo, Adam! Yo, yo! I thought your tattoo artist was my visit! They better watch what they say, because a little blonde girl's gonna put some foot up in their ass. Oh, uh, okay, so did he really just say that about the lady that's tattooing his buddy? I don't know this lady, but she seems like the type that gives you a singular warning before she tattoos a dick farm on your right thigh and calls it a day. You know how they say don't screw with the people that handle your food? I imagine that goes double for the people that are jamming needles into your body. It just seems like common sense to me, but I guess everyone's different. Karakasa. Karakasa. It's a Japanese demonic umbrella. Maddie. The legs on a spider don't come off the bulbous tail. The legs come off of the smaller body part. To me, it looks like a hairy June bug. This lady looks like she's cool with criticism and everything until she gets home and microwaves her guinea pig out of spite for Oliver Peck. To a good competition. Good competition. <laughs> This is the only positive interaction. It's all downhill from here, folks. The shots probably don't help, but hey, I'm not making decisions for people. I'm just complaining about other people's decisions. Combine the stress of 100K on the line with an endless supply of Jaeger, it'll bake a shitstorm cake of drama sprinkled with a metric ass load of salt. It's actually science. Listen, my expectations, they weren't met. I'm really counting okay. on you on this. I am livid. Mystical Mike up my flash tattoo and I do not want him to do my elimination tattoo. See, this is exactly what I was worried about earlier. What are you supposed to do when someone doesn't like what you've tattooed on their skin? Like, oh, sorry, my guy, I'm just a tattoo artist. You have to call the laser removal guy now. You couldn't say anything to me six hours ago as I was getting this stenciled up for you? Or one of the four times I had to reapply the stencil because you jumped thinking it was the needle? I, I, I don't know, man. Customer service is weird. But as long as you remember the customer is always right and you're a peasant, you'll thrive. Yo, Mac! What's up? Pass the tequila! <laughs> That's definitely gonna get in the way of my process. Damn, I don't know how you can concentrate. It's probably not a good idea to scream in your artist's ear as they're dragging a needle through your arm. That's just my two cents, and you guys are capable of making your own decisions. I just wouldn't personally do it, but it's like I said, everyone is different. It's possible this guy just screams all the time, and it's just another day for him. Maybe he speaks a few decibels above others so the voices in his head don't come back. No idea, man. I'm just trying to think of a few logical reasons as to why you'd scream when you're getting a tattoo. Okay, next clip. Oh, man, this is more than what I expected. I was really, really nervous, man. <laughs> okay, so this man says he was nervous. Look at Mystical Mike over here. He looks like he was in the process of accepting whatever fate he was granted. <laughs> he was mentally preparing for a trial by combat. Josh, he's kind of a douchebag. He's gonna be a problem. I really feel like Rich did make a mistake. Are you guys here to learn, or are you here to be the Ink Master? I mean, to be fair, that's what everyone is there for. I know if I was in a situation where 100K was up for grabs, I'd do what I could to secure it. But that's just me. I don't necessarily think it was his place to say anything about another person's art choice in this case. It's all a mind game, guys. People come to play the game and win. One of you will be getting a death sentence. Why is this so intense? Now I really feel like when they lose, they're just taken out back and shot by a firing squad or something. The design, just some wonky things about this thing. How many random people out of 10 would say that's a koala bear? 
Okay, so I must be one of those random people he was talking about because I looked at that and immediately thought koala. And honestly, if you see anything other than koala, you might need to look extra hard crossing the street. Or maybe at least have a crossing buddy. You obviously can't see anything that's in the direction you're facing. They're pretty recognizable animals in my opinion. Here's the best compliment of my career from that guy. He said the two happiest moments in his life were to see his kids born and to get tattooed by me here. That's awesome. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. It seems like a fair comparison. I've never had a kid before, mainly because I'm a man and can't physically do that by myself. Science hasn't quite gotten there yet, but I've had a really cool tattoo so I can relate in that way. I just have to take his word for it in this case. Maybe one day I'll have kids. They'll grow to ask questions about my history and then that's when I'll tell them the two most important days of my life were the day that I got tattooed by a skinny dude named Mike and then when they were born. I wanted black and gray though, that's what I wanted. So then where'd the red come from? She hurt me bro. My sh screaming on fire. When I first saw this, I thought she did a red outline. Nope, that's blood. I'd be really curious to see how this looks almost 10 years down the line. I hope this man didn't end up losing his leg or anything. There are some things that Aquaphor just can't fix, and a leg stump is definitely one of them. Well, the last time I checked, it couldn't. If I would have done a portrait, I could have showed, I'm, I'm a portrait girl. But you could have done a portrait of a castle right here. Uh, I mean, I really don't know what to say about this. Like, I'm actually at a loss for words. This man took a chance getting tattooed and it shows. Guys, I'm here to complain about other people's decisions, not make it seem like I could do better, because I promise you the end result would have been much more disastrous if I were to have done it. I accept that and simply complain on behalf of the dude that probably lost his leg. You've got so much heavy black in parts of this, but I don't feel like you have it in the right spots. I never thought I'd hear more black was bad. So I kind of found an irony to this. By the way, for those of you that didn't know, Ink Master was actually canceled in 2020 follow the allegations of Oliver Peck. I'll leave a link in the description and let you read this entirely because it's pretty wild. Long story short, some pretty racially insensitive pictures of him came out on social media and he backed away from the show. I'm not a political commentator and I don't want to get into that in great detail. I'm just thankful that Paramount Plus renewed You're the show this year Gavin. and excluded Oliver Peck. I feel that the show's focus is much more than him. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day, Tattoo Baby. Why does everybody refer to her as Tattoo Baby? Like, is that the name on her birth certificate? As a grown man, I'm not calling you that. You're a grown woman, Catherine. You have a 401k and several stock investments. Last time I checked, babies don't have any of that. So you're either lying to me about your credentials or expecting me to lie to myself about them. Either way, I don't appreciate it. Also, look at this tattoo she did. That finger looks rough. She won the challenge with this. She actually drew this on a person and they're probably walking around with it today. I'm sure she gets tired of explaining why it looks like the guy from Scary Movie. Taters are just about done. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. Do you guys like this type of content? If so, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe or the next time you get a tattoo, it's going to look like this. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll catch you in the next one.